What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a great video for you today. I don't know if you guys have ever seen my buddy Steven and his Ram 2500. He's been out wheeling with me one other time. It's been a little over a year ago, back when I had the two and a half inch spacer lift on the truck. Uh, anyway, we got him out here today. We're gonna do some riding around, see what it can do. Uh, last time I was with him, the four wheel drive didn't work either, but all that's fixed. So uh, we should be having a little, a little fun day. It is wet out today. Uh, it rained quite a bit, so all the holes are slapped full of water. Washouts are deep. Um, should be should be very interesting. So um, anyway, let me show you his truck real quick. All right, here you go. This is uh, Steven's Ram 2500. And uh, Steven, tell you about it a little bit. What you got on there? It's a 2016. It's got 11-inch lift, 7-inch uh, suspension, 4-inch body on... Uh, 40 by 15 and a half by 24 on 24 inch by 16 inch fuel cleavers. Ooh. We're on the Nitto uh, Toyo Open Countries. She's a big girl. 6'4 Hemi. 6'4 Hemi. The big one. Give you a little comparison. Let me go to the other side. There's water over here. So I'm about five. 10 on a good day that's the mirror so she's uh she's up there so we're gonna see if we can get her stuck a little bit hopefully not too stuck because i don't know if we'd be able to get it out but anyway we'll figure it out i'd like to take his truck through all the big holes the deep ones since it's massive uh but it might be a little bit too wide to fit in the holes and then also, if it does get stuck, me and Travis don't have a winch, and I don't even have four-wheel drive at the moment, so um, getting it out would be rough. So uh, I'm not sure how wild we'll get. I guess I'll leave it up to Steven, and uh, if he wants to get a little, little rowdy, we can. just now in the water. You're good. Give it the beans. Bumper's barely kissing. I would just go. You're right there at the end. It's not a good stock if you don't hurry up. All right, so we're at the washout here. Uh, like I said, a lot of rain out here recently, so I want to see how this looks. It honestly looks a little easier. Uh, I think you got it, just go straight. and just gonna drive up that wall. Keep giving her the beans and lock it up and go. You got it, go. There you go, nice and easy. Just a little 
tap on the bumper. Well, just as I thought, that looks super easy when you got, you know, 10 inches of lift. So uh, we're heading up to the green hole, which is the deep one that everyone either uh, gets water in the trough, gets stuff, flips over in. So I'm going to see if he wants to dip his tires in. It's been wet out here, so I'm not sure how deep it is, but we'll check it out. And if anybody can do it, I think he's got a good shot. If he gets stuck, it'll be very entertaining to get him out. All right, he's gonna go for the green hole. Let's get set up and uh, she's deep today. She is slap full. So I am curious to see how this goes. This season will be, either this is gonna be awesome or it's gonna be a complete shit show. You got a radio? She didn't make it. I don't know if I had a lot of faith because it was it's deep deep today. No snorkel in this truck, I'd be so nervous. <laughs> Well, that was impressive. I've never seen anyone make it through there while it is as wet as it is because it rained quite a bit and the water is pretty tall in there right now, pretty high. So um, I didn't think he was gonna make it. I don't think he thought he was gonna make it, but uh, he decided to keep drying and he powered right through. So we're on to the next one. Problem now is it's not going in the gear. <laughs> so that sucks. He's putting it in drive and it's going in drive and it's moving a little bit, but right now he's not moving at all and the engine's just revving so definitely got some water somewhere where it shouldn't be so apparently it doesn't even work in manual mode either so he's trying to back up it'll go in the gear and then he puts it in drive and either goes really really slow or just the engine revs doesn't doesn't go into gear so 
you can hear it a little bit just revving and not moving all right so steven disconnected the battery uh let it set for a second they reconnected it and it seems to be working okay for now uh we're gonna get him up to trail 10 get him somewhere to where if he does have to get towed someone can come get him well we're running good for a minute uh truck was doing okay and then it started acting up again so i think or i think we think that there might be water in that training fluid <laughs> so uh yeah i don't know what to do they're doing something over here so we got a uh 285 a 305 whatever this is what size are these tires 40 by 16. 40 by 16. That's a 35, 40 by 16. Okay. Crazy. So here's the update. We're up here at the AutoZone. Uh, we don't have any way to get the training fluid out without dropping the pan because there's no drain plug on this truck. So Steven is uh, dropping the pan and I am supervising. Yeah. Mm, it smells so good. There we go. Doesn't look the best. No. No, not at all. Definitely water in there. Alright, Steven's walking back with the full old training fluid. We put seven quarts in the big girl and we're getting ready to fire up. Hopefully that takes care of the problem. Well, bad news, she is done. Not only is it not going into gear at all anymore, but this tire. The wheel bearing is definitely kaput. So, end of that story. Alright guys, this is going to be it for this one. Steven's called Tow Truck and we're going to get out of here because it's raining. So uh, we'll see you next time.